Good morning, guys. This is episode 10 of The Cut. Um, it is Saturday morning, about 9 o'clock. Me and Cal are just hanging out. We're still at my father-in-law's. Uh, I don't think I'm going to train up here to uh, today. I think I'm going to wait till we get back to Joplin. We're supposed to head back late, later this evening. So even if it's like 9 or 10 o'clock at night, I don't really mind. I want to deadlift, so I'm going to wait to do that till I'm back home. Um, so yeah, so today, for most of the beginning of the day, we'll just be updating you guys on meals and whatnot. Um, this morning, I haven't had anything. I'm getting ready to make some coffee. Um, and then maybe I'll have a protein shake to kick things off and go from there. So yeah, see you guys uh, when that happens. Hola amigos, um, this is about 5 o'clock in the afternoon. We're still at my father-in-law's, but we're getting ready to head back to Joplin. We've got to be back there at least by this evening as I have my son's great-grandparents um, coming to town to visit him for the first time. However, I know you guys aren't as interested in that as you are interested in having a little macros update and a little explanation of my last meal. So. Last meal, I wanted Chipotle, uh, but my father-in-law recommended this great local restaurant called Tortilla Ranch, uh, which is sim essentially similar concept to uh, uh, a Chipotle. So I got a burrito bowl with a scoop of steak, a scoop of chicken, uh, some white rice, pinto beans, um, lettuce, and some salsa, and like a veggie, like kind of a fresh veggie mix on it. It was good. Um, and then I also, when I got home, I also snagged a like about two ounces of French bread off of my uh, off of my sorry phone's going off um, off of my sister-in-law's uh, Panera um, meal. So I ate that after I or after I ate my breedable. Um, all that being said, after having uh, that food and my protein shake from earlier today, I am sitting at. Uh, 93 grams of protein, 126 grams of carbs, 47 grams of fat, and 1,200 calories. So I'm about uh, a little under halfway to most of my totals. Um, my plan is we're going to get back to Joplin probably by, I don't know, we'll leave here at 5, probably between, between 8 and 9 is probably when we're going to get back. Um, take the stuff in and load everything. Then I'm going to hit the gym real quick. It's low, today's lower body. Shouldn't take a ton of time because I typically don't do a ton of volume on my lower body. Um, mainly just because I don't want huge ass muscular legs. Like, I mean, I want strong legs. I want some muscle. I just don't want, like, I don't know. Just I think oh, being overly muscular on my lower body probably could hinder my jujitsu goals a little bit. I mean, I already have relatively muscular legs and I, would, I already feel like that's kind of a hindrance. So I'm sticking to less volume, more intensity, um, focusing just on my overall strength. Uh, just not really trying to make many gains in that realm. Um, and plus I'm in a cut anyway, so I'm not gonna add a ton of mass as is. So I'm gonna deadlift, maybe do some squatting, definitely do some single leg stuff. I just haven't been doing enough of that in my programming. So make a point to do that, just and some accessory lifts. I'll show you guys all that um, in a clip. And then uh, I'll eat something after that. And hopefully that'll be a big enough meal. It'll bring me much closer to my total. So uh, other than that, um, time to get on the road and get driving. So I'll catch up with you guys um, once I'm back home and back in my garage gym. So see you guys then. Hey guys, uh, we finally made it back home. As you saw, we stopped real quick on the road. I got a Quest Bar, a Monster Energy drink, and some coffee with a little bit of Butterfinger cappuccino um, and some half and half. Um, and so I estimated about a tablespoon of half and half. Um, and then I basically just put the Butterfinger in as a, as a creamer. 
Um, so it's about 70 calories is what I'm estimating. So I could be wrong, I could be off a little bit on that, but no worries uh, because the goal isn't perfect, it's progress. So we know rounds about and then we overestimate a little bit because I'm trying to cut. That's how I handle it. Um, sorry, I'm messing with my settings here a little bit. Um, yeah, so now we're home. We got Cal put away. Well, like not literally, like we didn't put him away, but we got our stuff unloaded, gave him a bath, that kind of thing. So now I am settling in for my training session. It is 9.15 p.m. Um, I'm not opposed to lifting late. There's times when I was wor working as a scribe in the ER uh, during college when I would lift at 2 a.m. when I got off a shift. That was 4, 4 p.m. to 2 a.m. I would get off and lift and then go home, go to bed and like, I don't really, it doesn't really matter to me what time. Um, I do prefer to lift later in the day, not this late in the day, but I'm kind of a mid-morning guy, personally, for training myself. Uh, but I'm gonna do some le legs and lower body. I think my plan is I'm gonna deadlift first, do some back squats, not heavy, uh, just kind of grease that movement. And then I'm gonna go into some, some single leg uh, work, and I think I'm gonna start with some rear foot elevated and front foot elevated split squats. Um, mainly just to get on one leg and then the elevating that front foot is going to allow me to get a little bit deeper into that range of motion and simulate kind of more of my squat, how I squat on a single leg, so, so to speak, kind of, so if that makes sense. Um, but you guys will see all that in the upcoming clip. Um, I am currently drinking some uh, iced coffee. I forgot my amino energy at my father-in-law's house. Kind of bummed about that, but not a big deal. I'm getting my pre-workout caffeine from some coffee. Um, I've got, of course, I've got water. If you guys can see that, I'm, I'm drinking my water. It's important. You guys should be drinking yours too. Um, and then I think I'm gonna watch a little bit of, if you guys can see that, the camera's focusing. I'm gonna watch, watch a little uh, Daily V, Gary Vaynerchuk. Um, and then I'll catch up with you guys for my kind of post-workout slash dinner slash evening, late night meal type thing. So um, enjoy the training clip and I'll see you guys after. Hey guys, um, it's about it's about 10:25 uh, p.m. So about an hour and uh, 10 minutes since the last clip. Um, and as you just saw, what I was doing was training. Did some deadlifts, five sets of two reps at 400 pounds. Uh, back squats, like I said, I just wanted to grease the groove, so I did five sets of five at 185. Super easy. Um, but the point is to kind of just grease that groove. I'm trying to take some loading off my knees. They've been a little cranky lately, so just not as many heavy knee bends, so to speak. Um, and then I did some single leg stuff because I just, I haven't, I, I'm no, I don't do enough, enough single leg exercises in my programming. Um, so I'm trying to really make a focus to add that back in. So I did a uh, front foot elevated and rear foot elevated split squat with an anterior load using two kettlebells in the rack position. I did three sets of five reps on each leg with about 50 pounds of extra load. Um, haven't done a lot of single leg stuff, so started the volume low. Don't wanna be super sore. Um, you know, good, good exercise, I love that exercise. It's also great for lengthening on that opposite leg, that's the, the rear leg. You get a huge stretch through the quad. It's awesome for just lengthening that quad under load, which is awesome for mobility. It can be awesome for developing um, size because you're lengthening under load big bang for your buck move 
not, and not enough people apply it in their training program. You can use it to uh, reestablish mobility, you can use it to reinforce mobility, you can use it to uh, gain more control over range of motion, you can use it to get super big and super strong. Um, so yeah, if you can throw in eccentrics and lengthening under load into your program in some shape or form, I highly recommend it. Um, so what I'm going to do now is, like I said, it's about 10:20. Go inside, fix something to eat, something that doesn't take a whole ton of cooking and prep time, because it's 10:20. I want to eat it, chill out, wind down for the night, go to bed. Um, we got kind of a busy day tomorrow, too. Um, Cal's going to meet his great grandparents, so uh, yeah. And I'm about halfway to all my targets on my calories and macros. Um, probably a little bit more so now on the carbs since I had that quest bar. Um, but yeah, so I'll show you guys what I'm going to eat next. What's up guys? Uh, I just stepped outside into the gym to film this last clip of this episode. Uh, me and my wife just finished up watching a movie. Um, before that, I had some, uh, as you saw, some chicken or some steak, some uh, jasmine rice, um, and some shredded cheese. I put a little bit of ranch on that, um, and that brought me to just under my totals. And then, um, actually, after I get done filming this clip, I'm actually going to go right inside. I'm going to have two uh, chocolate peanut butter protein bars. That will be it. That will take me up a little bit above my, actually I'll probably have some peanut butter too, so that's going to take me a little bit up above my totals for the day, but no biggie. I'm still in the deficit by far for the week, um, as well as like even today because I'm in a 20% deficit or so for maintenance, um, so I should be good, uh, but that's what I want, so I'm going to eat it, um, which I think is important to know that you can do that when you're cutting. You can pick and choose your spots. Um, I'll make up for it in the future, I'm sure, on days when I'm lower on my calorie target, and I'm sure I've already uh, made up for it on previous days, so no worries there. Um, again, guys, thanks for watching this episode. Thanks for watching the series. If you're enjoying it, please give me your feedback. Uh, email me, steven at freebornTrainingSystems.com. Um, any of the social medias, um, just search steven.freeborn, comment below like the video, subscribe to this channel. The more you guys share it, the bigger FTS Nation gets, um, and the more dudes we help get jacked and, jacked and fit. So, um, yeah, I just that's my all, only ask ever. So share, 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 like, 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 um, and thanks for all the support. Uh, I will see you guys uh, next episode, which will be episode 11. So see you guys then. Bye.